Seek ye the presence. It's to be sought within ourselves. And if we do that, we end up being on a, on a mission to seek it within other people, to see it within other people, to recognize it within other people. All good things come from that. All goodness comes out of human relationships because there's a seeking of the presence, an acknowledgement of the presence, the meaning, the innate meaning of that person and of ourselves. That's the basis for any kind of relationship. It could be personal or business or social, community, whatever. And the matrix of relationship is a, it's a matrix of selfhood, but you take selfhood out of it. What a matrix of human personality. How does that work? <laughs> not, not too good in my experience. We think of love as having great meaning. And certainly it can carry meaning. But I say, before you look for love, look for presence. Don't go looking for love without presence. Love is born out of presence. Are you looking for love from another person before you're interested in their presence and who they are? Doesn't work, actually. Not that you can't have some immediate buzz off of all that, some excitement for some period of time, dare we say self-activity. There's self-active love. And how does that go? <laughs> Most of us have had enough life experience to know how that goes. Not very much fun. It burns out. Love based in selfhood, love based in presence, honoring the presence of another, honoring your own presence, invoking that, sharing that invocation together with another person. Oh my God. There, there is fulfillment. There's a, the seed of everything wonderful in a human life is to know that for oneself and to know it with another person. So much can be born out of that. 